Welcome to my practice from yesterday, 12 for 2020. I'm teaching a course on how you design an, an online yoga studio. And during this practice, I was playing around with my lighting setup in my new studio space. So I wanted to show you how I'm playing around with the lighting. I'm looking at my skin tone and the shadows on the wall behind me as I am adjusting the overhead light, which I have set up with the brightest light bulbs that I could find that are fitting the wattage needed for that light fixture. And I'm adjusting an LED light that's very bright. It's an LED light designed for mental health, but it's also perfect for video and it has three different settings of intensity. So when you see those lights changing, it's because I'm just adjusting the intensity of that light, sometimes turning it off to see if do I even need that really bright light. What I concluded at the end of my practice and looking at all of this is that that very bright overhead light is just too bright. And no matter what I did with the other lights, I could not cancel out that strong shadow. And when I stood up, I would see that my skin became overblown, that the, the light was too bright and my uh, very pale skin would get really, really pale looking on camera and kind of glossy, and it just wasn't a great image. I played around additionally with the white balance, and sometimes you'll see that image going to a kind of yellow color. What I was doing was adjusting the white balance settings on the camera to see if I could maybe manipulate the image in the camera to, uh, to kind of adjust for the poor lighting conditions. And I would just say in general that with video that you can do things sort of in post, you know, quote, but generally you can't really overcome a bad image coming in. You can see when I stand up here how overblown the image becomes and this is what I'm trying to adjust with different settings here I'm playing with the white balance. You can see that there's quite strong shadows underneath my eyes and that the my skin is just too, too white. This is an issue for me because of how pale I am. And for people who have darker skin, often the issue is they need more light um, and the darker skin will absorb light. Um, I like I'm wearing black on camera and that will just absorb all the light. It's not really great to use black on camera because it is just so light absorbing. And people have pale skin like me, we tend to wash out. People with darker skin often can't get enough light. I'm playing around with the conditions that work for me. And I'll be teaching you how to play around the conditions in your own space during the training.